This is Dr. Lou Sella, sport and performance psychologist. And I'm going to give you my first three experiences coaching the triple option offense. And I do believe a lot of them were godsend. Okay, so it started back in the 90s. I was coaching at a high school in New Jersey. The head coach uh, ran triple option as a quarterback in high school, and we were running the flex bump. Now, I had never done this before, but I learned a play early in the campaign called midline where we didn't block the defensive tackle as a B-gap defender, and we would make sure he was canceled with the football. And I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And that was a cool thing, but we also ran triple option, double option. We ran rocket toss in the 90s. With no clue what we were doing. And what ended up happening was we ran too many plays. So the next year, we started doing even more. We started running stretch, got into the gun, did a bunch of trash, and we never got better. I didn't want to be like that, but I didn't really have a choice. I wasn't that coach. Okay, so... I leave there, I take a teaching job in Maryland. I just graduated from college, 22 years old. I was coaching in New Jersey when I was 20 and 21 years old. So at 22, I take a teaching job in Maryland. We're running triple option, midline double. I'm like, wow, I mean, I'm around it again. How about that? But then we would run power eye, then we'd be in the gun. We were running, running, shoot stuff, and it was just so much offense. Although I will say the guys with whom I coached did a way better job of coaching it than the guys with whom I coached in New Jersey. So I was there for a year. I left, and then I went to a high school right on the cusp of the Pocono Mountains here in Pennsylvania. And the guy who was the head coach, was, we were running option out of power eye. And the thing was, we were running it out of power eye, but we were running a lot of stuff. We were running ISO and power and toss. And it, it, it just got to the point where, like, we were doing too much offense. So if you want to know why I fight so hard to force you to have self-control over your offense... This is why. I just had a conversation with a client of mine, a coach in New Mexico, a wonderful, wonderful man. And his assistant coaches want to put in this play and that play and this play and that play. And, of course, in traditional Dr. Lou Sella fashion, I said, you tell those pricks to shut up. Shut up. The wins and losses don't go after their name. And if they don't like it, they can get their ass out of here. Because that's how you got to deal with assistant coaches. I used to be that jackass, although I always wanted things radically oversimplified. I had a craving for the radically oversimplified. I guess as a big Italian, we like things that are simple, and we like consistency. So, point being, three experiences, three experiences in a row where we ran triple and midline double and ran too many other things. And that's why it limited us in a lot of ways. I will say every place I went, we got better at doing it. I didn't have any creative control. I was just a slappy at the time. I mean, I started coaching, really I started coaching when I was 18. But then my first triple option job, I was an offensive line coach at a school in New Jersey. I was 20 and 21. I was in Maryland at age 22. And I was in the Pocono, right on the cusp of the Poconos. The school's not even open anymore. It closed 17 years ago when I was 23. So, but every place I went, it was helpful to learn more. But the answer was always, look, if you want to do it right, you got to run radically less stuff. And that's why Air Force ran zone guided mid triple trap 30 times a game. Three plays, 30 times a game. The more willing you are to be simple, the more willing you are to win, 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 win. It's not an accident. You got to radically oversimplify. You're dealing with teenagers. Teenagers are thinking about tail. They ain't thinking a lot about a lot of plays. They're thinking about tail. And as much as I'm a Christian and, and Lord Jesus Christ is the supreme ruler over my free will, 
we got to be honest. Them boys thinking about tail. So radically oversimplify their life. Zone dive, mid triple, trap, toss it when they blitz, throw it any other time, and surrender the outcome to God. But learn the lesson from this video. Three jobs in a row where we ran option. And all three, we ran way too much offense. And I will fight my Brajol off to make sure you don't do the same thing. And that's what I've done with my clients. Speaking of whom, you want to win big in 2024, pick up the phone and give me a call. My number's on the thumbnail of this video. So is my website, the Triple Option Football Academy, Triple Option Football Academy. Camps are going to show you how. Go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials where you can see all the success stories that have come from the camps and the academy. And I'll see you later.